in this video of Tableau do it yourself tutorial we're going to talk about data blending so open the saved TWB file which you created in video number one Tableau BDCS DIY file and go to a new sheet and mark it as DIY with 34 so I have it open go to new sheet Mark it as DIWID 34. So click on the data menu on the top and click on new data source. Select the BDCS claims MDB file and create an extract. So what is data blending? And how you can use it so please recall that as a part of this learning series we had a sales file for BDCS and also we had claims database so for sales file was a flat file an Excel file and database MDB was for claims in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I can mix and match which is data blending I can pick data from different data source maybe Oracle maybe DB2 a combination of Oracle DB2 text files Excel's MDBs pick all together merge and I don't have to necessarily create any joints or do any type of coding Tableau itself is very intelligent to make sure the data connects how it works internally Tableau is going to fire multiple queries for the the different data sources so each query has its each database has its own way of executing queries for example Oracle when you fire a query in Oracle it, it behaves differently so if you have a tableau worksheet or a tableau workbook which uses oracle and db2 combination with a text file it's going to file uh, tableau is going to fire three different queries one for oracle that another for db2 and uh, the other one for text and it's going to get summarize data and show it in your form that it's going to be seamless to the end user the end user would not know that actually the data is coming from various different sources. It's a great functionality. I'm going to show you how to work on it. So, as I mentioned, go to data menu on top, click on new data source, select the BDCS claims MDB file, and create an extract. So, go to data, new data source, access file, go to browse. And select claims MDB file as mentioned earlier this MDB file can be shared just drop an email and you will get the link to download this file click on OK and you can see the file and source data click on extract so it will it will extract create an extract and Go back to div and select it as claims BDCS data blending. Now you can see that this is your sales data and this is your claims data. Please make sure that claim item is not a measure, it's a dimension. So data blending happens on common dimensions. At this point in time, I do not see any common columns. But I know that country is or could be the connector. So I'm going to rename the country on the claims database side. So right click and say rename. Oops, I'm sorry. Right click and say rename. And I'm going to rename it to as customer country 
So Tableau works on similar matching names to connect or blend data across two databases. Now I'm going to get country and drop it on the columns. You can see a tick mark which means it's a primary data source and if you go on the claims you can see this link reference link and this is your linking field between these two databases so please note that there are no com there's no common column between these two data sources to blend the data on rename the country column in the claims database to customer country drag and drop customer country from the sales database to the column shelf we have already done that all right next steps drag and drop the sales amount from the sales database onto the rows shelf and claim amount from the claims database onto the rows shelf so sales amount and claim amount from different databases both on the rows shelf so first sales amount drag and drop on the row shelf and then claims drag and drop the claim amount also on the row shelf and then for, for clarity purposes I'm going to make it as text so you can see the claim amount and the sales amount from different databases joining together and you can see here there is a mark which ma which makes your or which and which which denotes that this is coming from your secondary database please notice that Canada country Canada which was part of the claims database is not showing because it essentially does a left outer join on this database so countries only in this database would show up and this database will not show up the countries from this database will not show up which are not part of DIY all right next let's do a ratio calculation so I create a new calculation and I'm gonna get rid of this so ratio claims amount by sales amount and I'm gonna say sum of claim amount so you can see that here sum of claim amount which is coming from the claims BDCS claim DB extract slash or divide by sum of sales amount so two different databases two different data sources I'm using it in a single calculation columns from two different databases data sources are being used in the single calculation now go back and you can drag and drop here is it this fantastic I mean you can you can blend two different databases and create calculations on the measures from these two databases and still be able to report seamlessly fantastic right now let's do a different side of this data blending so we did create a ratio of sum of claim amount upon sales amount and now create a new sheet this time use the customer country from the claims database and drag and drop sales amount and claim amount let's do that so I'm gonna create a new sheet you can rename it as 34 a and this time I'm gonna drag country and put it on columns from the claims database and from here you can see the link being created this time on the sales database now sales amount the same thing which I did and claims claim amount make it text please notice that this time Canada shows up because the primary 
this on this visualization is claims and secondary is sales so that's why the Canada country shows up I hope this data blending is clear uh, let's do some hands-on exercises all right so the hands-on exercise is also on the same lines so again create a worksheet for and create a new data source uh, click on new data source you can select BDCS claims MDB file and um, create an extract to the same thing this time use sales cost and see if you can create calculations across databases make sure you do an extract not the live connection because you won't be able to use some functionalities some calculations which are provided by tableau happy learning